Hello YouTube, my name is Patrick and we're back here again with the Digital Alpha machine. I have been tinkering with it since I did my last video. So in this video I would like to cover the graphics card we put in. Do some uh, overclocking on that card and some general tuning of, uh, of Quake 2 for it. See what we can get. I've been looking into how to overclock the Parmedia 2. There are programs for Windows 95, there are some register hacks for Windows 95 and 98, so, but I couldn't find anything that seems to work on Windows NT. So, knowing that they could change the clock fre frequencies in the registry on the Windows 9X, I figured it should be possible on NT. Here we have the drivers we install installed last time, and uh, I want to examine this. Uh, the labs finder because I was looking for uh, registry keys and I found a whole bunch down here. And the one I found interesting was uh, see here, it should be here for media clock speed. So I decided to just run regular it and search for it. This key is located in HK local machine system control set 001. I'm not sure that always is the same, might differ. Uh, then services and uh, link then device zero. And device zero might differ too. Uh, I, depending on if you have another graphics card in before and so on, it might, the number might differ. But you should be able to find this by searching for it. So here's the media clock speed. And it's a hexadecimal value, so we can change it. So like 53, I think it's the fourth, so it equals 83. So 53 equals 83. Yeah, we can just set this in all there if we want. And I think that doesn't do anything. Red, which says 64 there and 100 there. Now, when you decide on your speed here, from what I read, over 96 megahertz is not recommended if you have 10 on a second memory, like I do. And the default is usually 53, 53 so that's 83 megahertz. So it goes like 5D, I think, would be equal, in hexadecimal, would be equal 93. Yeah. So you might start there somewhere. Obviously, if you do this, it's all on you because uh, there's never any guarantee with the copy. I have found that my car can go as high as 100 megahertz before it starts to artifact, so that equals 64. I would accept it like that. Uh, what I'm going to do now though is set it back to 53 or 0, which is basically the default for the car. I'm going to set it, set it to... I can set it to 0, which equals uh, the, the, the J bios. Two. I'm just going to run quick 2 here. Because we need a base or something to... So we got 46.2, and this is at our stop frequency, which is usually 83 on a Remedia card. Like this. The only way I suppose to know what your default is to try, and I tried 83, uh, which is which gave me the same score as 0. So, so 53 plus 83, which for me is my default. So I'm gonna go 64 there, or you can just go like so. So I get uh, the, in, the parentheses number here, the 100 is my clock frequency now, so I'm overclocking 17 megahertz for a stop. I'm gonna go 
factory on. I have 46.2 less, so we should see an improvement now. So that's 50.4, so we're up, uh, up uh, 4.2 frames or something, which is a lot, it's almost, almost 10%, so that's pretty good. Uh, you might have noticed that my initial frame rate was actually higher than compared to the previous video. And the reason for that is I tuned the config file for quick too. See here in the Quake 2, I put an auto XAC of GFI, which we can put things in, and those things will override the default config. So, uh, if you put a specific resolution in there, it will always run that whenever time, every time you start a game again, no matter what you change to. So, you can override things here. I have a change the sound and sound quality to the lowest. It seems to add a bit of latency into the sound, which is a bit annoying. I'm not seeing that analysis, but. Uh, it does improve frame rate, so let's uh, just do max FPS like uh, max FPS there. Uh, target is set to one, that's basically a blood splatter. You can turn that off, it will give you another two or four frames in my case, and that will do. Same thing down here, also setting here, another two FPS or so. So I think with those two combined, looking at 57 instead of 50. Pick me, pick me down here, set to one is uh, like one notch down on the texture quality, so a few more frames there. Vertex ratio if you give out good boost. Uh, most kind of lighting lighting stuff is turned off. So that's what I end up saying. That's why I can I think I was around 30 some FPS before. 30 to 5 don't think. That's why I'm up to 50 now. This config with the clock. Here, as you might have noticed in Quake 2, I'm, I'm running version 3.21, which I did compile myself here. I'm uh, using uh, Microsoft Visual Studio 6. It uh, actually it doesn't so much improve performance on this machine, probably due to the slow graphics card, but it does help with the sky being corrupted with the previous graphics card that I want to show. So if you have that card in your alpha and you have corrupted uh, sky textures to smear, smear all over the place, this, this uh, later version 3.21 uh, seems to have addressed that. So I, have a, I did compile Quake 3, but it takes the original Quake 2 source. So I have that, I have my auto x at CT5. So I will uh, put that in the description below I'll download link so you can download uh, the latest version of Quake 2 for Alpha and uh, the config file if you like to use that to keep tuning that. I think a friend of mine started making that configuration file and I just kept uh, adapting it for this machine. So I'd say hello to Yanni. Thank you for watching.